Hey YouTube, it's Daredevil Coaster Riders. Today, I will be doing my 10 year plan of Canada's Wonderland. If you guys seen my last two videos, <coughs> which are shown up here, please watch them. So now let's get into this 10 year plan. Um, let's go back 10 years, alright? To 2011, they brought Windseeker, which was a observation tower I guess like same as all Cedar Fair parks and that is what they brought in 2011 and 2012 is the big investment for Canada's Wonderland they brought the world's first BNM Giga Coaster Leviathan <clears throat> at 306 feet tall one of the fastest in Canada and also that came, what came that year in 2012 Dinosaurs Alive came that year now we'll go into the next year, 2013. In 2013, they brought a new show, Monsters of the Deep 3D, which was shown in the action theater. And it's a good show is what I've heard. And a lot of people watched it and liked it, so. Now we'll go into the next year, 2014. They brought Wonder Mountain's Garden, Guardians, and... I don't know why in the world Canada's Wonderland considers this to be a roller coaster because I just find it strange. I consider this to be like a family ride or a thrill ride, but they call it, they consider it to be like a roller coaster inside a mountain, but I consider this to be like a thrill ride, so and it's a dark ride. <clears throat> also, Skyrider closed that year. A lot of you should have remembered that if you guys been Longtime fans at Canada's Wonderland that Skyrider operated for 29 years and it got the axe in 2014. <clears throat> now 2015, they brought a slingshot. The same exact thing at all Cedar Fair parks that have one, like Cedar Point, which is almost the, exactly the same. So and now going to the year 2000. Also, they brought splat uh, new slide and splash works Typhoon. Which was a water slide that's like tornado at King's Dominion, which got removed a while ago, and and now going to 2016, they brought Skyhawk, which is a ride where you're like flying and then you can like do flips. It's like Windseeker, like it takes you up high and you do flips when you're um, high in the air and you can try to get as many as you can. And, and now 2017. They brought Soaring Timbers, which is a ride that's located near Vortex. And this type of ride, it's where you get in and then it just takes you up, upside down as many times as it can. And now going into 2018, they brought two new rides. One Thrill Ride and one Kitty Ride. And Lumberjack, which is... um. Something like Aero 360 at Kennywood Park, if you guys have been there before. And Flying Canoes, which is just like a kiddie ride, like the same at almost at all Plant Snoopy's at Cedar po all Cedar Fair Parks. And now going, and also Orbiter got the axe that year, which a lot of you should remember. Now going into, and also Dinosaurs Alive got the axe, which was unexpected. Because all Cedar Fair Parks decided to remove um, their Dinosaurs Alive. And I thought that was a good idea because that didn't even get that popular. So now going into 2019, they brought their biggest investment after seven years. They brought Yukon Striker and also Frontier Canada. Yukon Striker was, is the world's tallest, longest, fastest, and most inversions on a dive coaster. And it was very successful that year. A lot of people like it, and they say this is their number one dive coaster. And I agree with a lot of people. So, in 2020, this year, they brought a new kitty ride, Big Gold Bridge Airfield, and in the water park in the Splashworks, they brought Mountain Bay Cliffs, which is just like something where you jump off of heights into water. 
And now I'm also going to have to throw this out. I don't know if this this is not real or not, but I think what also is going to happen in 2020, the Mindbuster is going to close because I know Canada's Wonderland wants to expand their water park and fix up their park a bit, and I think it's a good idea to like close the Mindbuster since it's near the water park and it's like on the land of the water park, and that would be a good idea so they can like add some new things, and I'll get to why. Now... From 2021 until the year 2030, here is what I'm predicting that is coming to Canada's Wonderland in the next 10 years. All of what I say right here is my opinion. If you have something to say, say it in the comments and I'll respond to that. And as of right now, let's start off with 2021. I think this year is going to be a water park expansion because they just removed closed mine buster. And I, I could see them using the land right here of the mine buster which goes under a couple of the slides right here and I think that would be a good addition to add like maybe expand the walkway around a bit and then maybe add like a good slide complex right here maybe a good restaurant over here then this I'll get to what later so and I could also see them getting a new water park name like the Cedar Fair has been renaming renaming a lot of their water parks to different names and I think that would be a good idea to like rename their water park to a different thing like Wonderland's Water Park or CW Water Park or Canada's Wonderland Shores like I think that sounds stupid like Cedar Point Shores or South Bay Shores like and also something in Fort Bend Frontier in the land of Dinosaurs Alive because if you guys know Cedar Point got um, Fort Bend Frontier in 2019 and I think in 2021, that would be a good addition to Canada's Wonderland since it's a big park and they need a good attraction. And since Forbidden Frontier became successful at Cedar Point, I could see this going into Dinosaurs Alive at Cedar Point. And now going into the year 2022, I think it's going to be their next big year because it would have been three years after their last roller coaster in 2019. And I think in 2022... They're going to be getting a Mac launch coaster. Why do I say that? They um, are. I know Canada's Wonderland is trying to improve their collection of roller coasters, and I think that's a good thing what they're doing, trying to make their collection better, trying to get rid of the old attraction coasters and trying to replace them with like good ones. So, and if you remember, Cedar Fair said they're removing r attractions they seem unpopular or hard to maintain, and I'm pretty sure. Canada's Wonderland is really going to go one step closer with that. And also, where are we going to put the Mac Launch Coaster if they get it? That's a good question. You just removed Mindbuster, so why don't you use the land of the Mindbuster right here? Like, if you see, like, where I drew around, like, station right here, then I could see it go, like, out into here a bit, like over here and it may be out in under behemoth and I think that would look cool if it went under the, the behemoth area like maybe a cobra wool like raptor or hydra so also in 2022 I think the wild beast is gonna um, close for good because since it's not that popular of a ride anymore and I know they retract it and still it's not that good is what I've heard like I've ridden it a couple of times and I did not like it so and also Speed City Raceway is going to bite the, bite the dust that year also because I know a lot of people don't like it when they're waiting in the line for Leviathan sometimes the fumes of like the gas or the that they use like gets in the air and it like bothers people sometimes it bothered me when I was waiting in line for Leviathan many times because and I just did not like it so and I think that would be a good idea to remove so I'll get to why I think they should remove it so now going into the next year 2023 they're gonna be getting a new show and some new restaurants because it would have been a while since they did that and I think that would be a good addition to the park like add some a good new show like what lot like the same as like other Cedar Fair parks have been doing and then restaurants like something good as a restaurant because they have um a lot of good restaurants that I think they need to like bring in some more good restaurants like that would attract the crowds and also in the year 2023 I think Time Warp will 
be done for the year because it is not that popular and a lot of people say it's very rough, very painful, like when you're just lying down and I did not like time warp when I was there, so Yep, and now going into the next year, 2024, they would have removed um Wild Beast and Time Warp and Speed City Raceway, but in that area of where medieval medieval fair is, like I think in 2024, it would have been two years after they got their last coaster, the Mac Launch Coaster. 2024, it is going to be RMC Wild Beast. Yep, I know a lot of people have been saying, oh, are they going to convert Wild Beast into an RMC conversion? And I think that's a possibility. And also, where would they place it? Like, you see Wild Beast here, and then maybe, like, make parts of. RMC Wild Beast go out in this area. Like, I think it would look cool if it, like, did, like, went over here, like, Lift Hill, then just go over. And I think that would just look cool if they, like, retract a lot of this and then make it go, like, over Speed City Raceway. And I think it would, like, be a very good addition to Medieval Fair. Like, make a, like, a Steel Beast, like... And I think that would like make sense to like use the land here and then all this here. Make it have the most inversions on an RMC. And now, also I'm going to have to throw out this. Dragonfire is going to bite the dust because I think around that time, Aero Looper, those types of Aero Looping coasters are really hard to maintain because Cedar Fair has been has removed one a couple of their Aero Looping coasters and... And I think this would be a good addition to get the axe, so... Yeah, that's what I have to say, because... Dragonfire around that time is going to reach the end of its service life. It's because... Aerodynamics went out of business a long time ago, and it's really hard to maintain all these types of rides, so... And now going into 2025, guys, it's going to be a Scream and Swing. And I could see that going into the land of Dragonfire, because I know... After Cedar Fair removes an attraction or ride, they like to replace it quickly. And since Canada's Wonderland is the thrill capital of the world, I think this would be a perfect addition to add to their thrill ride collection because they don't have one, and I think it would look amazing in that in Canada's Wonderland. Something the tallest in the world, the fastest in the world, and it would go in the land of Dragonfire. And also in 2025... Flight Deck is going to close for good also because a lot of people hate this ride also and I hate it too because it's really rough, the inversions are rough, and it's so terrible. I just recommend ride this once, then never step foot on it because it's just not that enjoyable of a ride. Now 2026 is going to be a new slide in the water park and a new ride in Planet Snoopy because it would have been a while since... They added something new in the water park and Planet Snoopy, and I think that would be a good idea to, like, add something new for the kids to ride when they're getting older before they get the big coasters, so. And now going into the year 2027, it would have been three years after their last roller coaster. 2027 is going to be their next roller coaster. A B&M inverted or a B&M wing coaster, one of the two. I don't know which one it would be. Like, I think there, there would be... They both would be perfect additions to Canada's Wonderland, and I would have to go for the wing coaster because B&M hasn't worked with their inverts for a long time, and I think maybe they should try to get back into adding inverts again, so maybe. But I have to go for the wing coaster because there's no wing coasters around that area. You'd have to drive to Cedar Point or Holiday World, <clears throat> which are like five, six, seven, eight, nine hours away from that, that place, from Canada's Wonderland. And where would they place it? One of the two would go into the land of where Flight Deck and Time Warp is. And I know some people, you guys can hate me for saying this. Remove two coasters and add one coaster. I know that would sound pretty weird, but I think that's a possibility. Like maybe use the land around here a bit. Maybe have it go out onto the parking lot. And I think that would look good if they used all that land up. And it would like be like the tallest, fastest, longest, the most inversions on it. And also, I'm going to have to throw out that Vortex is going to close also because if you guys watched my last two videos of my 10-year plans with Cedar Point and Kings Island, 
I said their er, er, suspended, co suspended coasters would bite to dust because it's really hard to get parts for these types of rides since their manufacturer went out of business a long time ago. It's really hard to maintain these types of rides and I think it would be a perfect addition to just remove it so they don't have to deal with like, the maintenance costs and it would be really hard to pay for these types of rides since Aero is dead. And now going into the year 2028, I think that year is going to be an observation tower over 500 feet. Some could a ride, a family ride that can that takes you up about 500 feet, so you can like get a full view of what the park looks like. And I think that's a perfect addition to the park. Like, add that, so everybody that in the family can get a chance to see how big the park looks and how it has like changed over the years. So. Now 2029 is going to be their next big year. I think they're going to be adding a B&M flying coaster. And I think B&M is still going to be adding these flying coasters anyway. So, And I'm pretty sure Cedar Point is going to be getting one, the first park to get one of these types of flying coasters. And I think it's a good addition to, to put it at the throw. <coughs> the leader of all the roller coaster park like Cedar Point and add it to other parks. And where would they place it? Land of Vortex, guys, because Vortex would have been axed down because since it's really hard to maintain. And I could see it going out into this area and this area. And I think it would look cool if it like did that. Like have, keep where the station originally was and then just go over, fly around this area, maybe fly past Yukon Striker. And also I'm gonna have to throw out the bat will close because the day and age of the combo boomerangs are not that good as of right now. So, And I think this would be a good idea to remove this one. And I'm pretty sure you guys might be counting the types of coasters I think will leave the park. It is six roller coasters that will leave the park because... Seven! Seven! I meant to say seven, guys. And... Because they're really hard to maintain and they're not that popular at the park anymore, so is what I just have to say. Now, the final year, 2030, I think this is just going to be a new thrill ride year. I don't know what type of thrill ride they would add. Like, they'll have to think of something good to add in the future because this is the thrill ride capital of the world. And, yep, like, I don't know what type, so right now, that's... 2021 to 2030, so now 2021 is going to be a water park expansion, 22, a Mac launch coaster, 2023, new show and food, 2024, RMC Wild Beast, 2025, Scream and Swing, 2026, new slide and new, new kitty ride, 2027, B&M Invert War Wing Coaster, 2028, Observation Tower, 2029, B&M Flying, and 2030, a thrill ride, and I'm pretty sure you guys might be counting to type how many coasters this, in this decade. Four new coasters, because Canada's Wonderland is behind, that's why. Because I know a lot of people were expecting 2016 to be Yukon Strikers year, and then another coaster. And I'm pretty sure Canada's Wonderland in this decade is going to catch up. So they can, like, add back what, add some, like, replace their crappy collection of roller coasters and try to make it better and that's what I think they need to do and I'm not saying that Canada's Wonderland's not good I like it it's a it's a nice park just the coaster lineup so I prefer their throw rides and I like the three coasters they have so thanks for watching guys make sure you hit that like button comment down below subscribe hit the button right here follow the Instagram Daredevil underscore coaster underscore riders um, logo and then so see you guys in the next video which is going to be CGA, King's Dominion or Carowinds one of the three peace out